welcome to the stay at home shopping network episode like 12 or 13 i don't know we've been doing this for a hot minute anybody that's joining thank you guys for being patient with us we made a crazy under 24 hour uh turnaround trip or about 24 hours right around there uh to arizona to pick up my mom and dad and we just got back like literally two minutes ago so thanks for joining us if you're new to this channel make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe if you love junk home decor diys mariah is on so this is how this works mariah is going to share the links of stuff everything is already on the website at jamierayvintagehome.com so you can go ahead and browse that while you're watching we are going to show you things that we've got up on our website if there's anything you have questions about go ahead and ask um, and we're also going to show you some clothes here in a little bit lots of fun stuff we're super excited we are glad to be home we did not lick anybody when we crossed state lines to pick up my parents and we touched minimal items. <laughs> All lots of hand sanitizer. All right, I think the camera's where I want I it I think now. Zeb got it. I want to show you guys first, we got masks and this one is my personal favorite. I have a couple of them. If you have to wear a mask, you might as well be a cat. Meow. So check out, this is a new listing on our website. If you go to JRV Closet, we have masks. So we've got um, these, we've got some gators, we've got some checkered ones. So check those out. This one is seriously my favorite of all time. So I actually wore this to church all the time. You do look cute in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes my eye look, look at my eyelashes. Yeah. Anyways, I think the masks are relatively inexpensive. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up because Mariah knows all the prices. I've slept about 10 hours in the last two days. So we'll see how well that works out. Ooh, sound on. All right. While she's looking that up, I'm going to go show you guys. I think if you, I think we finished it all the way with the white wax, but you can no longer see the break or the crack. It's, uh, you know, and so, a few people were like, I've never seen an apothecary painted cow. We know it's a fun, quirky decor it's, centerpiece. It's an imaginary cow. <laughs> Not all home decor has to be an accurate representation of equal proportion and color to nature. But you know what? Now I feel like someone needs to yes, go dye Donna, their cow apothecary. I have two shoes on. Funny story. We were in such a rush to get out at some point when we were leaving one of my flower Birkenstocks that we just got on the website that you guys should check out, fell out of the car. And so we got to go potty at the first potty stop. And I was like, wait a second, I only have one shoe. And so I'm looking under the chair, I'm looking out there. Sure enough, I am on a road trip out of state with Ann shoe. So the very first potty stop I made with one of my shoes and one of Zeb's. It was so, real cute. So Harrington put it on his Snapchat. She had one. Did he take a picture? Yeah, he has a picture of you like running to this hole in the wall toilet in the middle of nowhere, Utah. Yeah. And she's got one of these on. And, and one of these, but one picture of with the flowers. floral Birkenstock ones that we've got. And, and I didn't it was wanna, great. I didn't want to touch anything. It was one of those outdoor bathrooms, so I didn't even touch the door. It was like a get a key from the front and yeah. go around it the was, side of the building. It was already place. open, so I left the door open. I squatted. I touched nothing. I flushed it with my toilet. The only thing I touched you was it with your foot. With my foot, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I flushed the toilet with my foot. I the only thing I touched was the actual toilet paper squares, and then I sanitized myself. And then Zeb was so good. He went to the Family Dollar and he picked me up a pair of epic flip flops. So I'm glad to be home and in my regular shoes. There's my story. All right. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this little yeah. tote slash box. No, they're not box, actual burks. They're fake. It does come with the pine cones inside. Plus bonus. <laughs> so this we got, we picked up um, one of our, I believe followers dropped this off to us. It's painted apothecary. It's white wax. I can't oh, remember. Oh, no. It's... You've made me forget the name. Oh, oh, oh. Frazier. Frazier. There you go. You, there you go. got it. Um, 1695, and it does come with the pine cones, even though they aren't listed on the website. You're welcome. So you can do a little crafting with them. And and Mariah just listed. If you love my rose gold burks, and you need two of them, because we'll ship you two. She just linked those shoes on there for you. They're 27.95 for the pair. Um, Sharon says, "Hey, from Muggy, Missouri. It is warm here. It's we hotter here it than it was cool. in Arizona." And now it's hot. All right, so I want you to do the pulley leg. I want you to talk about this. Okay, let me, let's see if we can show them this. I don't know. No on camera. It's heavy. So this is kind of made to hang outside with hanging plants. These are actually antique dairy buckets. Sorry. 
Um, it comes with two dairy buckets and a rope, and then you hang, this is like an old sewing, um, like, treadle thing, and it comes with the rope that goes on it, and you can hang it, and you get one bucket up, one bucket down. We only have two of the pulleys, so you're definitely going to want to check out that. Let's see, what did Mariah All leave? right, hang on, i got to untangle this. It's a Mariah, little tangled. did you find the pulley? Oh, Jane finally got in that. Jane, we just got on. You missed, like, two things. You, you did miss the story about my shoes so you might want to replay this when we're done okay there it is $79.95 this is an antique vintage and found collection we only have two each of them are similar but not identical because these buckets are legit old so they're a little bit different and they come with this and you can put your painting plants your spider plants your pothos there it goes you are an excellent model Hold on, I, think I can't hold it up high enough so you can see it hold in on. this other bucket. Let me let me roll it. Let me roll it on the wheel. Okay, you hold it. I'm gonna move the camera. Okay. Let's see if we can do this together. All right, I'm gonna hold it up. This is loud. There it is. That so hold it up higher. Oh man. Hold it up higher. There you that's go. That's the roof right there. It doesn't so go higher that's than how that. you that's how you hang it, and then it comes with the two buckets. Picture that hanging from your ceiling from a hook. Bam! I think it's really cool. I actually was thinking Zed would probably want to keep one. I do like them. I like stuff with pulleys, like block and pulleys. Yeah, very industrial farmhouse. Oh, can you fix the camera? It's now pointing to the sky. It's pointing to the sky. For the low, low price of $79.95, you can have that whole setup with your plants. Faker or real, nobody's judging if you're a plant lady. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item at hand. Hold on, I'm going to move this cow over here. Okay. Stephanie Payne says, interesting, it's cool. I think it's cool, too. All right, it's 75 in Washington. Nice. All right, what are we... There's that if you need it. What are we showing them next? Next, You're we're going to show them the faith sign that we made, Waste Not Wednesday. If you caught that, we showed you how to make some quick, easy signs. So we sold that one, and we already sold this one. Oh, this one's already sold? Yes, this one's going to get framed out, so you got to finish that. Okay, this one will get a frame and look like this. So, but this one is $14.95 because the picture shows a mermaid, but wait for it. It's also a French grain sack stencil, so you can be, be like wrong. party in the front, business in the back, or business in the front, party in the back, two-sided. Boom. <laughs> this is the mermaid one. And then we have, let me move this over here. This is a sign that you can hang on the wall, but you could also use it as a like riser to put something cute on. And this is the eggs one with the two chickens. Let me show them close there. The eggs and this one has a three-inch like lip on it, so you could put something like. I mean, I probably wouldn't put these, but just bear with me. Boom. It would be cute with like a vase with flowers in it. I love that you know what would look good because that's exactly what I was thinking. I live with you, and you do lots of that kind of stuff. You know, after 20 years, you're just about perfect. All right, so you take that one. So this is the chicken with it says eggs on it and i'm pretty sure those are roosters so they fertilized the chickens they didn't poop them out all right oh yes if you guys have multiple orders you need shipped together you're going to email info at jamierayvintagehome.com you have until tomorrow to email her um from the live video and then we will combine your orders and she will take care of that for you yeah if you don't do it by tomorrow it will already be shipped out because they're on it right now they're shipping Christy while we speak. is shipping all the things they did they worked hard while we were gone this last day so, pair of candlesticks, $18.95. They are pewter. All right, let's They see. have a maker's mark on them. It's faint and hard to read. I can't, what does I can't, it say? I don't um, know, use your eagle eye vision. Yeah, I got LASIK so I can see. It. So it's Milton, Columbia. Yeah, and it USA. says. This one's easier to read. And then it's like a, a Roman numeral. This is M -C -M -L -X -X -I -I -I. like a... M-C-M-L-X-X-I-I-I-I. I'm having deja vu from when we did this exact same thing Saturday, On Saturday? night. Saturday? <laughs> We're like, I can't read it. I'm here like, you have look. We, have we been here before? <laughs> well, now they're actually listed. And so for the pair, they're $18.95. All right. So let's talk about the pot holders in the room. Last week, we sold all but four sets. And I think we got like 13 new sets of pot holders. So if you did not pick up your pair... They're $22.95, and they're made with authentic grain sacks. So some of them have, like, imperfections and whatnot. Let me these see if I can actually, find one so I can show. Yeah, these ones have a little bit of staining because they're actual old grain sacks. They are clean. So that, 
They've They're been clean. laundered. They're just authentico. Oh, here we go. He's going to find them good This ones. one has a repair on it. Like, that's Ooh. what they look like. You can expect things like that because they were actually used industrial grain cuts. And let's be honest, the ones with the repair like this, I, the I like them a little more. I saved a few for me. Mine all have Like, if you're going to go farmhouse in your house and, and, and commit to it, get the one with the repair. Let's talk about farmhouse commitment here. So, oh. oops, don't put those up. They're not up yet. Don't show those. Oh, don't show these. Yeah. Okay, we'll hide this. These are so dang cute. So I got four sets of them. These are grain sack coasters, guys. I think they're $14.95 for a set of four. And they have the raw edge, but they have been sewn, so it's not like they're gonna keep fraying. But look how cute that is. I'll show you how it works, right? You got your beverage, it's all frosty. Put it on the grain sack, boom. And this is a set of four, right? Yes. And I have to say that these ones are my favorite. I actually, I didn't wanna say stole. But I actually took two of the Green Tech aprons for myself, and they have this coloring on them. So it's my favorite. $14.95. We have only four sets. If you guys buy them and like them, I will order more. These are a new item from her. And my seamstress also made, we only have one. We only have one. This is a trial to see what you guys think of this. Oh, I need a ball jar. It's Do you like, have a ball it's jar? It's like fun fall slash Halloween. It could be a multitude of things. Yeah. You could even use that as like a costume prop. So this is a scarecrow hat made from a grain sack. I'm pretty much, oh, Sabrina, to buy the coasters, if you look in comments, Mariah put a link. So you can just click the link or you can go to jamierayvintagehome.com and you can just search the word coasters, they'll pop up. Or just check Mariah's link. What are you needing? You said you needed a jar. I need a ball jar. Grab me that, I, that blue, yeah, There's perfect. One. So guess what, these, so I only have one, I believe it is $19.95, and I'm gonna get more, I promise. But, oh, it needs to be a bigger jar. It's made it's, to fit. Here, be, you can use this, I don't think this is listed, No, but you could use that, this. that jar over there with the snappy lid. Oh, this one? Yeah, so it has to be on a wide it mouth jar, or, or we have these turquoise jars on the website, I think they're like $4.95 for these ones. We showed them last week, anyways. Ta-da! It's made to go on top of a jar and sit on your table. I just think it's really farmhouse, really cute, but also seasonal and really unexpected. So $19.95 for the straw hat. It's even got a patch on it. Look how cute that is. She did good. Oh, my mom's on here. Yep, I got my mom and my dad in town. Kai, I love pewter, Becky says. All right. Odelia Ray, Grandma Rose is a beautiful lady. She sure is. And you guys are going to get to see Grandma Rose model because she's super excited. Because of COVID, she hasn't been shopping in like four months. So I told her she could come to the boutique after hours and then she could have anything she wanted as long as she models it. So we're going to have fun with that tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see if her suitcase going home will even fit in the truck. So funny thing, Denise Parks <laughs> likes my shirt. It does not come in plus size, it's one size, but I want to so show one size you. Fits I want to show you one size, okay? So I'm a small, Zeb's a XL plus. Let's just say that. But try it on. I'm a snuggly XL. A snuggly. He said he's working on a snuggle Billy. I like it. I like it. Well, we were we were we were having a conversation in the car about like where we were 20 years ago, and I'm like, I'm trying to perfect snuggable right now. You are so snuggly. Well, Although right now you're mostly just sweaty, but I would still snuggle you. It's hot in here, and I've been driving all day. <laughs> and and he spilled a milkshake on himself. Yeah. That was a little bit funny, because Zeb doesn't like Wait, to be dirty. Wait, I can't find the armhole. Oh my goodness. Friend. I don't wear stuff like this. I know, but now you do. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you. I was wearing it, it looked fine. Zeb's an XL, totally not tied on his arm. So I think it could even go up to 2X for this. Oh. For sure. I'm, I'm borderline Stand up 2X. and spin. Stand up and spin. It's comfy. It hides all the COVID cookies. And it kind of dresses up a plain t-shirt. Now I want it back because it goes in my outfit more than yours. Yeah, I'm still wearing the same clothes I had on in yesterday's video. Good job. <laughs> I love, love, love one size things because I like to show you guys because sometimes things are one size and you're like, is it really one size? Legit, it's one size. I'm a small. He's an XL. It would go up to easily to 2X. So there you go. All right. All right. So these. They said they're cute. So these are funny. These are from Ikea. They are. They were clearancing them out. If you have an Ikea and they have some left, go grab them. If you don't, um, we've got them. They're a set of three violets. They fit perfectly with our sugar molds. We have four sets available. So if you have a 12 hole, you're going to need all of them. But if you just have the three hole sugar mold, boom. Look how cute that is. 
I'm always looking for the perfect flowers. So I picked up some for the shop, but I ordered four for the website. Um, so if you are looking for violets, oh, Crescent Moon just ordered them. Did you order the violets? <laughs> We've got four sets. Um, I would might be able to put more in inventory if these all sell out because I have some dispersed around the shop. But they're only $5.95 for the set of three, um, and that's because I got them on clearance, so yay me. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't have one of these, we also have the three whole sugar molds. We have shown them before. Ikea also makes um, some aloe plants and some succulents that fit perfectly in the sugar molds. You could also use real plants, but if you're like me, you're a fake plant mom. I'm coming up close because I Donna want you to... Donna said you need some for staging. Oh, that would be so cute. You know what, Donna? These are really cute in teacups. So I know you do a lot of vintage dishes on your Etsy page. And so these would be really cute for that. These are like place card holders slash business card holders. Or they could just be cute little birds that are paperweights. You know what would be so cute They're with cast these iron. Birds? If you took any little cards and you use the IOD stamp and you stamped different words and you could change the words out seasonally. Like, yeah, like on a mantle or something? You could have it say like joy to the world or Merry Christmas or whatever like on a mantle because they are made for place cards if you have fancy dinner parties. If you're like me, fancy dinner parties mean you bought the really nice plastic forks. So they don't have to be just for that. They can also you be You went used. with the chrome plastic forks instead of the white ones? Yeah, when you upgrade to the chrome plastic forks, that's how you know I'm getting fancy on you. Okay, next, the, also, they also come in oh, a set yes. of four is Pigs. the little piggies. They're also cast iron. $22.95 for the set of four cast iron, which I think is a pretty good deal. I love cast iron because it just lasts forever. For size comparison, they're, just a, a, they're slightly larger than the birds. Not much if you include the tail, but... <gasps> Marlene says, amen, nice paper plates and forks. And uh, <laughs> Fat Boy Tunes that's commenting now, that's my nephew, Ben. And so he uh, said, I was so excited to meet the both of you last night. I'm pretty sure Ben met me the day I was born because his mom is my sister and she brought Ben slightly older than me, even though I'm his aunt. And he, she brought Ben and Zachary over to meet their new aunt. So it was nice to meet you, Ben. <laughs> If Melody's there, tell her I said hi. Okay, so moving on, this is the, oh, uh, Debbie said, live, laugh, love. That would be cute on the little cards. Okay, so this is a couple. They're very dapper. It reminds me of. So this is, this Scarlet is Anne and, and this is Jim. Or Scarlet and Rhett from Gone oh, with the Wind. Yeah, so Jim has had a fall. Jim's had a little bit of an accident. He's got a slight crack through here that has been artfully glued. A very not by us and then his toe has a little chip but it just makes him look like he's wearing a fancy shoe sandy said those would be cute for table numbers at a wedding i agree with that one so because this cute statue set has a little bit of a situation that's been repaired it's only 12.95 and if your friends don't look close they're never going to know the situation happened probably what happened is jim mouthed off one evening and got thrown across the room <laughs> so I couldn't throw you across the room if I tried. I'm probably sure I've thrown a sock at you a time or two. Yeah, a time or two. Not that that's ever happened. Oh, Carts and Millie you, says, oh you no, like to, Jim, you poor darling. You like to throw the chunkla. The chunkla, watch out for this. <laughs> it probably sounds weird to hear him say chunkla, but I grew up next to the border, so. I actually have never thrown a shoe at him. All right. Maybe. I Those guys. Know. Okay, moving on. Let's see, what are we gonna talk about next? I don't know if these sold or not, but these are the set of three tarnished metal I was looking sticks. through beforehand because we were driving what up. What are they made of? So these I think are, I, I feel like they're brass underneath with some sort of plating. I wanna say silver, but I just, I can't tell. And they've got a felt bottom with no maker's mark and I don't wanna pull the felt off. So, you know, so they, they look, look cool. Yeah, they look like uh, silver on over brass. So silver plated over brass. You can say that they're whatever they want because we don't know. Yeah, when you get them at your house, just tell everybody, be like, hey. Oh, be these careful. are sold. They were $34.95. Oh. They were the low, low price of $34.95. They went 95. quick. All right, well, they're cool. All right, let's, do you want to talk about corbels? Because we have some really cool new corbels here. Let's talk about them because I'm about to kick this one over every time I walk by it. Oh, don't kick over the corbel. There's kick the can, don't play kick the corbel. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can find one. All right, old general store corbel. I know that, which one that is. That's the one right there. This one is a big chunky mamma jamma, and it's priced individually. So it's 
It's $139.95 for one corbel. But it's um, big enough that honestly you don't need a pair unless you're doing something with them. Like it's way too big for a shelf. These ones are not made by us, but they do come with hanging hardware. And they've, they're all slightly different because they've got like this fun chippy finish on them. It looks like somebody used salt wash. It wasn't me. And they are $139.95 and they come with hardware and they are, I don't know the dimensions. They're solid. They could be structural if you actually needed them to hold up an island mm -hmm. or a big shelf or something or your mantle. You could use these. I thought, if you're, doing I thought that, you were going to say your man. I was like. If you're doing something like that for shelf hanging, I would actually use different hanging hardware. Like you might want to start here, but I would actually screw them in to the wall probably from up here and then plug that and maybe salt wash or something over it to provide your repair. Thanks, Francis. She says I look good. But they're big. All right, Floral Burks. Sorry, I got distracted by Francis' compliment. They are big. Floral Burks. Um, Kimberly, if I wear an eight and a half size up, I would say yes. Um, I wear an eight in them, and I generally wear between a seven and an eight, and I bought an eight. So you should probably be plenty safe if you size up to a nine. Okay, and next they do fit corbels. wider widths, which is awesome. Oh, sorry. She says Floral Burks, not Barks. Kimberly, I knew what you meant. It's cool. All right, let's see. Do we have any other questions? Nope. Yep. So that corbel is $139.95. And then we have the Victorian set. So this actually comes not individually, but as a set of corbels. And let's see if I can So see these that. aren't finished on the back side. They're made to hang on your wall. They have yeah, lots of hardware. Wall hanging hardware on them. And they are $204 for the set, and, and they're ginormous. Then you can leave them like that, or you can pull them apart and frame something out in your house. Or... Do they have, so show them the hanging hardware on the back. Yeah, so the hanging hardware is right here. It's got these two They're hooks bomb. back here. And this is for the set, so it's not $200 for one, $200 for two. And they are big. I think they're probably like three. I have a tape measure. Hold that right there. All right, I'll hold them here. They're, I, I'm going to guess 30 inches. Yeah, these are like Victorian gingerbread corbels. And they are made of solid wood, which is awesome. If you and wanted to use them, if you wanted to use them like on a porch, I would say just paint the back. And you're I wouldn't use go. them as a structural element. Though. No, I would just use them for decorative. Use them for the pretty. How tall are they? Oh, you were closer. They're 34 inches tall. Oh, what and did you say? I said 30. <gasps> I'm never closer than you on measurements. And they're 34 and 3 quarters wide when you together. put them together. So individually, how wide are they? 17 and like... Personally, seven I eights. think I'd just hang them on a wall because they're just... Oh, so dang cute. All right. Take the chippy Victorian corbels. Okay. Those have been on back order for like 5 million years. I've been patiently, not so patiently waiting for them. All right, I'm going to pull this up here and grab comments. See what Mariah's got. Oh, super chat from Tanya from Carts and Millie for more socks to throw at each other or the farmhouse, whatever. You know what? All the current budget is going to the hot tub. I know nobody's thinking about hot tubs because it's hot outside right now. But as soon as the cement gets poured, we may not even have the farmhouse finished. I'm like, can we take some of the money we saved from doing all the work ourselves and buy a hot tub? From making a mosaic tile out of those 50 cent tiles? We are not doing a mosaic Absolutely. tile. Absolutely. I am Absolutely. ordering the good tile. It's because we're buying the cheaper roof. She found a hot tub on a local uh, buy sell site that I tried was to get free, one free if you came and picked it up, and, but, but then, it has a leak, and I'm like, I don't, I don't have time to fix a hot but tub. But would that right not be now. the best waste not Wednesday if we fixed a hot tub? Who doesn't love a hot tub? Anyways, moving on. Somebody else already picked it up, so we're not getting the free one. Okay, this little fun dish, tiered tray. And it is rose porcelain. I don't think it's stamped on the bottom. When you get it, it's going to be apart because it, it has a nut on the bottom and it's made We're to gonna disassemble. We're going to take it apart to ship. So you'll get, it'll be, it'll ship better if we ship it flat. So it'll be all bubble wrapped and then cardboarded and then peanuts and then boxed. And we'll have a little baggie with all the parts. So you have to put it together. It's going to look like that. Can you see the gold around the, the edge there? Crescent Moon says no used hot tubs it's like a human soup pot um after we took that cruise on carnival and we got in the hot tub i feel like i probably had all the germs there was enough invented. chlorine in that hot tub i think my eyes were gonna melt right out of my face watching middle-aged people half inebriated inebriated is that the word flirt with each other on the carnival cruise was great people watching <laughs> the hot tub was a little gross i'm like ooh, what's floating in here <laughs> One of a kind item here, we have a glass, a pink glass 
basket. Now, I'm not positive if that's depression glass. Does anybody know about depression glass? I just liked it because the bottom was really thick. You know, so. she likes that thick glass. Lisa agrees with the used hot tub. All right, well, we're going to need a lot more Super Chats if none of you guys are going to let me get a used hot tub. <laughs> it was free. I just had to pick it up. But they're worried about the germs. Oh, it's sold out, the pink basket. Oh. It was $8.95. It could be depression glass. I don't know. Donna's laughing at me from Crescent Moon. <laughs> Oh my heavens. All right, let's move Another on. Another Waste Not Wednesday project. Oh, I don't know if I got that on there. This may not be on the website, but this is the one we made from Waste Not Wednesday. If you guys want the holes in them, weigh in. And I haven't stamped it with the little bird stamp yet. We'll so get the bird stamp. We'll get the we'll bird get stamp. And I'm thinking we're just going to throw a little hole right here in the top. That way you can hang it right on the wall or you can leave it sitting on the counter for display. Or you could put stuff on it, you know? All right. Jim and Ann would look fantastic sitting on Ann. the small little cutting board. All right, let me take a picture of it. Wait. With Jim and Ann, but they don't come with it. They don't come with it. All right, Just the cutting camera. board. So we would have normally had that finished, but you know, we 1,200 miles in two days. It was so fun. Especially when my dad needed to put his feet up, so I got to drive, and I got to drive this close to the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, I did not. I don't know why we didn't do that on the passenger side. Oh, yeah, because he couldn't. We'd already gotten him in the car. And and we were trying to put him in the back seat, and he couldn't. He's not walking good right now. So we were not moving him. So I was just like, I will just drive. You ride one over One of there. the reasons we brought them up is because we have a scene. The guest room is like three feet from the bathroom in our house currently that we're in. And we don't have any and stairs. And no stairs. He doesn't have to do any stairs. Well, there's like three to get in. At the house they have in Arizona, he has stairs to get up to bed, stairs there's to get down. down to bed, or down to the kitchen. You know, it's like, he can't do stairs right now. All right, so twelve ninety five for that cutting board. It will have a hole and a bird, and I just listed it. It is under home decor and in the handmade. And I, I will allow them to be purchased when out of stock because we have tons of stair treads so we can make more. Yep. So if you want the stair tread one, it'll look just like that, and it's food safe, so no problem there. All right, let's talk about the These apron sold the out like so before fast. the video was over last time we showed them. I don't know what the current So we currently have five stock available. Is. Okay, so, so we have five. one, two, five, seven, and eight available, and my personal favorite is actually seven because it says two and a half bushels. So we have three, I think, of these left. These are the baker's ones. And these are each forty nine ninety five. They are made with authentic grain sacks, and yeah, they're super popular. They have popular. a pocket. They, they do have a tie on the back. They go around like X in the back instead of tying around your neck, which I love because I hate. Yeah, they go over stitches. your shoulders and then you tie around your waist. Yeah, and they all have pockets, and so make sure when you order these that you click the variant that you want because all of them are numbered, and I have a picture of the front and the side of each number, so that way you can see if there's any repairs because they're authentic grain sacks so i can expect some repairs what she's some talking about is like this here yeah there's a little bit of character these have been used and hauled around and been in semi trucks full of flour yeah so it looks like three have already sold since i put them up this time and we've got five left so all right they love yes the hole in the cutting board and elaine says in houston we just turned the hot tub heater off in the summer it makes it a mini pool <laughs> genius i love it okay and then also in Houston, you get out of that, and then you feel like you can't dry off, at least in the summertime. <laughs> they said that the they said it's like that ninety eight percent humidity, tub, right? They said a hot tub is a human crop. Oh no! <laughs> you don't know you're getting boiled. Yeah. Uh, well, and then all the but see, crock pots kill all the germs, so it's fine. Mm, do they? Do see, they? That kill is them? more of a germaphobe than I am. I've had to learn with the current situation to be a germaphobe, but I'm not really. So. All right, eighteen ninety five. These are the tarnished silver, I believe. Mono are they monogram? They're the they Queen Anne five sixty four, and they do have. They have the crown. They're not monogram, but they, they say Queen Anne, which means they're good enough for the queen. So eighteen ninety five for that the what set that of two. Means? Yeah. So they are tarnished. That's a crown. Someone said that they were probably a little bit different color and more silver when they started out, but someone washed them with something, and so that's why you got the tarnished color. Hey, I love me some tarnish, though. All right, can Zeb measure the general store corbel, please? Yes, that we, have, we will. Is, that, is the measurement not on there? No, because they're new, and Christy put them up, but I don't think she put the measurements on there. Oh, let me grab it. He's going to do it right now. Where did I set it is the question. I do not know where you set it. 
All right, while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you something else I've been waiting forever. So this is similar to like those chicken feeders, but it's not actually a chicken feeder. It is a copper dish rack. This is perfect if you collect tarnished silver or really pretty plates, or you just need a dish rack. And this is new on the website. So definitely check that out. Oh, they said it's under the aprons. This is under, oh, yep, we got it. We got the it. Tape measure. All right, so we'll go back to this in a second. So it is. All right, five and a half wide. Five and a half wide. 15 and a half tall. 15 and a half tall. I'm going to say 17 deep. It's a little, it's a hair under 17. It's like 16 and three quarters deep. No, it's, it's like 16 and seven eighths. Okay. So that is the Hotel Corbel. Now these are sold individually. So if you need a pair, make sure you buy two. The Victorian Corbels come with a set. Okay. So this is the copper metal dish rack. It is $29.95. It's like metal, heavy duty. And let's see. Um... Uh, Tammy said that she uses these for her record collection. Yeah, so anything nice. that you want to display up would be beautiful. Oh, you got some I, old vinyl. That would be really cool. Because yeah, they really have cool. the coolest covers on those if you still have the slit. Yeah. The I love it for or whatever they are, the sleeves. The tarnished, um, the tarnished silver is really popular. And copper, guys, in case you didn't know, copper is all the rage and really hard to get in the home decor world. That's why I have been waiting for these for six months. So we've got a few of those on the website. Check them out. $29.95. All right, when are you moving into the farmhouse? That is a good question. When are we? You is know, it going to be finished when we move in? It's We're going for occupancy, and we're going to be Put taco finishing shells a lot in of... It? Oh, yeah. That's a we're going to be finishing tacos. a lot of things as we go, so lots of videos to come on that. Um, and the decor stuff is going to start really coming in, because we're going to finish a room at a time. Once we move in, we're going to finish the kitchen or we'll finish uh, Odelia's room or a kid's room or we'll do the laundry room. So just kind of so. one room makeovers because those are something you can do in a, usually a couple of days so they make really great videos. We thought that would be fun. So we're going to yeah. get it done enough and then we're going to take you one room at a time and finish out the farmhouse. So we're, The trusses are being built today so I'm hoping they deliver them tomorrow. I don't think we'll get them Saturday because of the 4th so you know we'll see. With the holiday it might throw things up. All right, let's talk about something else that has been on back order forever. This is the big Mama Jamma butter dish. It is the farmhouse enamel butter dish. And they have, we've had these before. I'm not sure that I've show, shown them, shown, shown, shown them, that's the word. Um, because every time we get them on the website, they sell out fast and I can usually only get a few of them at a time. So the, I, I feel like this is big enough to fit the big Kerrygold butter. That's always the true test of our butter dish. Can it fit our Irish I mean, butter? don't quote me on it, but just looking, I don't have some of the butter here with me to test, but I feel like it would fit. This is a big, a big platter for it to sit on. And don't I'm actually probably going to take one out of stock because I do want one of those for the farmhouse. I'm actually, all the enamel wear is coming to my house. So those are $19.95 for that butter dish. And we got to put, bomb. we got to have some, something to put on those open fits, shelves I'm making. Look how cute it is on the little cutting board. Look at that. That'd be darling displayed in your little farmhouse kitchen. Mm. I like it. All right. Um, Joe says, I've been seeing a lot of copper jello mills at Goodwill, but I don't know if they'd sell. Well, they're not selling here. So you might see them on the stay-at-home shopping network if maybe people want them in the in the YouTube world. Oh, super chat, twenty dollars for your farmhouse fun. That, that's going in the hot tub fund. Thank you, Melissa. Ooh, ooh. I'm excited for a hot tub. Is this a squash or a nut? I said squash in my listing. What do you think? I feel. I like love I... that you went squash because that was my initial like. Well, I was I looking it? at it. I'm like, that looks like a shelled out pumpkin. The hole or whatever yeah, you call it. Yeah, or like Ryan. that. Is it a Ryan on pumpkins? No, that green squash. Like the honeydew melon? No, the green squash. The oh. green one with the lines on it. That is that like the spaghetti squash? I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a squash I'm not expert. A squash I know what butternut squash looks like because that's my favorite. They said cantaloupe, but I'm telling you, for twelve ninety five, this pewter dish can be whatever you want it. You could call it a pink princess. We don't care. And it's nice and heavy. It's got a little bit of tarnish in there, but probably just a little white. It looks like it's wax that we can, we'll scrub it out before we, we ship it to it. We will scrub it. For $12.95, not only will you get the pewter dish, but Zeb will personally hand scrub it. Yeah. And what does it say on the bottom? What does it say um, there? So it looks like it was made in the same place as It's a the vintage fine William one. Wilton Mount. Oh. Raina needs the butter dish. And uh, Odelia says funky watermelon. I like where you're headed, Odelia. 
Wilton Mount uh, in Pennsylvania, something. It might not be Mount. It's like stamped and then crooked. So. Yeah. All right. It says PWP on it. Oh, Leslie, you can't um, Shopify. Well, you probably can, or Caitlin can give you Venmo or PayPal if you need to send a super chat and you can't do it because we will figure it out. If you just email um, customercare at jamierayvintage.com, tell her what you want to do. Caitlin will take care of you. Oh, I like that. Tammy says it would look good with guacamole. This? I am so hungry right now. I, I love Jack guacamole. Jack in the Box messed up our lunch order, so I've had some pretzels, two Reese's peanut butter cups, and a sausage McMuffin today. Not enough. So now I want guacamole. Oh, Ian says zucchini. That would be one fat zucchini. Maybe if it, it's, it's the zucchini that got all the water. It is. All right. Tammy says yum. I'm thinking Mexican food. All right, let's get this done so I can have some guacamole. All right, this is the bed warmer. <laughs> Fastest stay-at-home shopping network video You ever. start talking about guacamole and I'm out of here, man. Well, we're I'm 35 here. minutes in. It might be a short one today because we woke up. We got there at about 10 oh, Arizona time. Oh, this is already sold. I'm going to show them anyway. It was $49.95. I put in there that I don't know if it's old or not, but it appears to be antique, and I didn't even spell antique right. Good gravy. I, I put all, luckily I took all the pictures before I left yesterday and then I put all the listings in while we were driving to Arizona. Fun bed warmer. Or you could probably hit somebody over the head with it if they were breaking into your house. In the event that that happens. In the event that that happens, also a weapon. But it's sold. So. So timeline yesterday, we, we got done with the live video. We, uh, we went and got the car all ready to go and then we were busting down to Arizona. We got there because of some construction headed down. We didn't get there till about 10-ish last night, Arizona time, so 11 uh, our time here. And then, then we had to load the And car. then I spent the rest of the evening loading up all of their stuff that they needed to bring, all of Jamie's parents' stuff that they needed to bring so that they can be here for a little while and until he's he up and walking in again. And then he walked around the bed for an hour. Oh, my knee was bugging me, so I couldn't hold still for very long. And she's like, would you stop it? I can't sleep. Well, my parents have a queen-size bed because <laughs> they're not big people. And, and then, we have a king size. And, and then 4.45 like, oh. rolled around and we were up and back on the road. 4.45 a.m. I, I thought I was going to sleep this afternoon, but then I wound up having to drive because we had to push the seat all the way up so my dad could put his feet up. And this was me for four hours. The only saving grace is that Zeb bought me an expedition with massaging seats. So at least if I had to sit like this, I had massagers for the back. It was so good. All right. All right. So um, you have just some little scissors here. Huh? Oh, yeah. So these are... Oh. Lisa said it, Lisa, I believe if you put the butter dish in your cart, it times out after like 10 minutes. So if you're worried about it timing out, check out and then email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin will combine your shipping for you. You don't want to miss out. So that you heard it here and first. And Jamie's, when stuff's popular like that, we're always trying to get more, but it's usually limited on what we can get from the manufacturers so. yeah sometimes i order 10 it goes on back order and i only get four that happens a lot i try to order as many as possible so these are really popular they're replica vintage florist snips i actually really love these zeb sharpens them and i use them for what zeb she uses them for upholstery upholstery because they're heavy duty so if you're if you buy grain sacks which we do have authentic grain sacks and we still have some in stock check those out if you're interested if you're upholstering or using grain sacks to sew with I love those scissors because Zeb sharpens them and they're heavy duty enough to like get through them. So. so they have a copper rivet here on the center. If you're going to use them for upholstery, hit that with a hammer against something hard and that'll smush them in so that they're nice and tight. And then if you're going to use them for upholstery, they come fairly sharp actually. They're, they're usable. Yes. What I do is I get a little stone from Harbor Freight. It's just a little cheap sharpening stone. And I leave it straight up and down like so. You're gonna get a lesson with your. Scissors. And then I just get this whetstone wet. It's like a dollar fifty for a Harbor Freight whetstone. And then I just you know run them back and forth until I can hear them. You can hear the little. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then I give them back to Jamie, and they can cut for several yards of fabric. Because the the thicker fabrics like grain sacks really massacre your scissors. So I like those. So they're twelve ninety five a pair for those floral snips, and they have also been on back order. So thank goodness. And Odelia says, massaging chairs are a thing. I didn't know until Zeb bought it. I remember when he brought the expedition, I was like, I'm going to haul junk. You can take that back. But then he just bought it. So now I My truck it. was getting an oil change. I had to come see her. <sighs> they but... saw you come and they're like, your wife would look so cute in that. You know, me and That's my... That's why we do all our work at the Me and my sales rep down at the Ford place, we've got a relationship that we're I building. Like 
and you know we've already discussed. <gasps> Susan my next bought the squash truck. bowl, and she's calling it a squash. Bowl. Good job, Susan. All right. Okay, so these are cement, concrete, but they've been painted. These were also on back order, and they're so stinking cute. So they're cement, and they're a little bit farmhouse, a little bit bohemian modern. They were hand painted, not by me. So there's a little bit of imperfections. So this has actually got a awesome. ridge. It's tech. It's got some texture. It's not just painted on there. Robin said... Are these a set of four? Because there's two, and then we have two smaller ones that are just cement. So this one is $5.95, and this one is... A, hold on. No, they're different. Hold on a second. Sorry, Zeb finished the story. He probably did. What about the I story? I got distracted. They said Zeb finished the story. Is there more to the story? Which story? I don't know. Oh, about the Ford truck? We are not running on a lot of sleep here, people. That's the end of the story. I thought so. We ended up getting the car. We left it with them for a week while we went to the Vegas market. And then we came back and they're like, they made my deal, the deal so sweet that I was like, yeah, we'll take it. So $5.95 and $8.95. Boom. So these are really cute. These are the striped cement planters. And then, oh, these would look fantastic with wood spoons. Yeah, this, is this one is tall enough for wood spoons. This one is probably a little small unless they're little wood spoons. And then the other cement planter is $4.95 for the little mini cement planter. And then let's see, the bigger one. Oh, there must be more than one. I don't know what the bigger one is. Mariah, can you look? There's a different cement planter link for this one. All right. Oh, Deb bought a kitty mask. They're so cute. I gave one to my mom and she wore it into the gas station. I was like, isn't that the cutest mask ever? We also have floral gators. She's like, if I lose fun. this or if I need to wash it, do you have more? I was like, Jamie's girl, I, like, got I got more. You. And I will order more because they're the dang cutest thing. If you got to wear a mask, it's got to be cute. All right. We what have, have those show? trees and then I think we're about done for today. It's what? a quick one, you know? No, no, no. There's got to be more. Um, we have all these frames over here, but I don't think you've added no, them. No, we've got these Christmas trees. Oh, you know what? I could get some clothes. We have clothes that we have in shop. Yeah, let's, you guys want to see clothes? We'll show clothes. All right, Mariah's going to put these glitter trees on there. Deb loves them. Oh, we have these too. So show oh, these, yeah. and Mariah can look them up if you show her. She'll what did you call clothes. these? Um, I don't know. Wall decor. Wall decor. Oh, oh it's good. It's good. This one Stop I hand painted. This one came that way. All right, so, so we've got these. These are twenty two ninety five, and then the give set, Mariah right? a second. She will look up these wall decor. She's already got the glitter Christmas trees. The glitter right? Christmas trees. Those are show them that they're paper. And I'm going to grab some clothes. Odelia okay, says, "Show the embroidered dress." Oh, because she's not. And she Crescent Moon says, "Duh, of course we want to see clothes." I hope I caught the inflection right on that. And Lolly Lolly didn't get a notification. That is sad. I'm sorry. And we were late today, so we weren't our normal time. So the notification is what needed to happen. Come on, YouTube. Help her out. All right, so these are glittery and shiny. Let me see if I can get one in the sun for you a little bit. We've got a set of three, and it's a little early. We thrifted these, so these are unique. When they're gone, they're gone. We won't be getting more. I'm not sure what they were made with. They look to be some sort of... Uh, like a ruffled cardboard almost. They're fairly thick, and then they've glued them together like this, almost like a coffee filter. But they're way thicker than coffee filters. And then we have, let's see, Mariah, did you find? Is that a five o'clock shadow? Yeah, this is like a three day o'clock shadow right now. <laughs> I don't know if these made it to the website. Show those, but all right, just know that if you go to the website, there's tons of really cute clothes. I'm just going to show some of them. Did Catherine ask a question and I missed it? We're talking about Big Top here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Can canvas rug with DIY? How do I seal it? Oh, Big Top. You could or seal liquid it. Liquid patina. You, I would use, yes, the liquid patina, which is very similar to Big Top, but not quite as shiny. It's more of a dull. And you just put it on real thin and keep working it, and it'll be, it'll be great. We've, we've, I have sat on Debbie's couch that she painted and did that process, and I did not. I was in like khaki, light colored khaki shorts, and I did not get any transfer on my shorts. What? All right, did Mariah find these? All right, decorative square. That one's this one. 
Oh, this, this that's the, this is the decorative square. That that one sold out. This one's twenty five ninety five. Oh, the other one I'm the, the other one I just showed is gone. This one is how much did you say? I think it's twenty five ninety five. Let me make sure. This I'm is an right. apothecary with white wax. Yes, twenty five ninety five or twenty eight ninety five. It's twenty three inches by twenty three inches. Comes with hanging hardware, and I did hand paint that. All right, our little. This reminds me of a fancy version of a uh, the barn rugs that they do, or what are they called? Barn the quilt. Barn quilt. I'm like barn rug. Barn rug. Barn, barn rug. Barn quilt. They both can be thrown. A barn quilt is you paint on a barn. You can't throw the the barn quilt. It's not like a quilt that you just toss that whole barn. It'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to comments here. All right, and that's everything, okay. but Jamie's going to show you clothes. So, a new romper. This one is $49.95. Let me scooch that back so you can show them good. This is my favorite. I'm not a fan of rompers with elastic waists. And this one has, like, jogger-type bottom, and it's loose in the middle, so it doesn't cut you in half and show off your muffin top. And it does fit true to size. So, this is a cute new romper that we got. This one has been on back order, and I've been patiently, not so patiently waiting for it. So that one's cute. Yeah, I should start wearing rompers, because my muffin top is strong right now. Okay. There has been yeah, a don't... lot of COVID cookies okay, so in this my is, life. This is a sheer shirt. This is the floral chiffon blouse. And I like it because it's nice and loose. You can wear a tight top underneath, hide the COVID it's cookies. It's very the sheer. Start. Like, I would not let Odelia wear 18... this without a tank top underneath it. Yeah, no, 18 dollars And then we have this kimono. So could you try this on for me? No. Yeah. I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm too big for it is why. Okay. Yeah, probably. All right. So this is a medium. This is eighteen ninety five. This is the damask short-sleeved cardigan. I don't know why it says cardigan because, no, you could totally wear this. Here, let's see if they can see you through this. Can they see my face through it? Christy was wearing this with our broomstick palazzo pants today. Nope, it's enough it's they can't cute. see you through it. But. Okay. So this this is a the damask cardigan, but I'm telling you right now, the broomstick palazzo pants and this cardigan were a match made in heaven. There, you can, can see my hand, what I'm talking about. Okay, so he's trying to tell you ladies, wear an undershirt or don't. We don't judge. Anyways. You do what you want, but Odelia... No. Zeb, you wearing a romper? I love it. He's not trying to romp around. I can get him to move a lot of things. Okay, so this is the floral Henley. This well, has Christy three... has this shirt on right now. I know. I said. <laughs> I, I thought you said the other day. Christy, would you come in here for a second? I'm going to show you with the palazzo pants. Yeah, you got to come stand, stand back over there. there. The... I told you guys. Yeah, Just you can go stand there. right there, by Jamie. Can see my pants over there? I'm well, they can sure. see it, but they can see how they look from the top. Christy, come on. they can't see him. You gotta get on this stool. And you've Don't got go. your super cute braids on. I know. This is, this is my friend Christy. So these are the Palazzo pants, and they match perfectly with the Henley. See, I told you. Don't, don't mind the dirt. Christy. She wandered Christy in, has and she was like, all day. she was looking for something for an order that someone probably just ordered. And we're yeah, like, hey, should. Christy. She come loves over it. We're going to put her on the spot. She's game for anything. You were ready to be on TV. We've been friends for too many years. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Henley, which I'm pretty Thank sure you, my mom that is going to awesome. want. Because it's long in the back, so you can wear it with some leggings. It'll cover your bum. Three quarter length sleeves. You do want to wear an undershirt, and it's eighteen ninety five for this one. And all of our clothes are free shipping. <clears throat> and Beverly says it is too sheer to not wear something underneath it. That is, it's meant to wear. It's layering. I'm man. right. I'm this right. is actually really, really cute. On this is just a plain black shirt, and it's pleated. And it is twenty ninety five. It's the pleated V neck blouse. It has this fun little button here. But make sure you unbutton it before you try it on. And this is really figure flattering because it's kind of snug up here and the pleats just kind of hang really nicely. You can see this on me if you look it up on the website because I did model that for you guys. Janice says you always need a black. Yeah, if you're going to need a black blouse, this one is really classic. You can dress it up, dress it down. It would go with jeans or dress pants. All right, another sheer These shirt. These are all very uh, summery, like really light. Yeah, no, ain't nobody wanted to wear heavy clothes in the summer. $18.95. For the coral one, this one has a little bit of a ruffle detail on the sleeve, which I think is really, really cute. All right, and last but not least, another kimono, but it's called a navy floral print cardigan. Short sleeve kimono. This one's $18.95. <clears throat> Do not mind that the mannequin is wearing a midriff shirt. I will be re-photographing it tomorrow. So this one is a small, but it's a very generous, I mean, it's very generous small. 
So you could definitely size Very it down. Very floral. It's got a bit of navy. You could probably carry that into the fall. Yeah, you could carry it into fall if you live somewhere where it's warm. <laughs> All right. You guys, check out JRB Closet. All the clothes ship free. We are adding new stuff every week. And because it ships free, you don't have to wait for all the new stuff to come. You can just buy what you want. On the off chance that you order something that is supposed to have free shipping in it, then the, we have a glitch in the system and it says, just email hey, no. Caitlin. Just email Caitlin. She'll fix it. Yeah. Or she'll refund you if you bought it already and it didn't give you the free shipping. The hay feeder. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this is $29.95 and this is a copper chicken feeder. And we did talk about it, Ivana. So check that out. All right, that is it for the Stay at Home Shopping Network. Thank you guys for being patient. I'm sorry that we were late by an hour and a half more than usual and half an hour more than we said, but we appreciate everybody for joining us. Make sure you hit up jamierayvintagehome.com, even if you're watching the replay, because many of these items that we reorder, we're restocking. If you have any questions, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. All clothes and jewelry, shipping free every day, all Bath & Body is flat rate of $5.95. And if you spend $200 and you're in the continental U.S., shipping is what? Free. 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 That's All right, hold on. Much. Susan Norton had a question. Type size in search. Yeah, so you can actually filter the clothes by sizes and see what we have. We are getting new plus sizes and extra larges every day. I actually ordered some more plus sizes. They will be here in a couple of days. And there's so small sizes, back. too. Yeah. Like... Jamie's mom probably weighs 115 soaking wet in yeah, jeans. Yeah, she's a little lady. So, you know, she's going to, when she comes and models the stuff, and some of that stuff could fit Eliza. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So make sure you hit up jamierayvintagehome.com. Be sure to give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, we did a collaboration this week with all of our maker friends. So make sure you check out the video where we show you how to do the pediments. Oh, Zig, did we show your pediment? We have one more thing. Where is it? Did it I haven't seen it. Is it down hiding under the table? I, maybe it's it, the one we did on Monday. Yeah, the one in cherry picked. And or maybe, Tuesday. Maybe it was Tuesday. Christy shipped it. I don't know. Tuesday. Oh, it's sold. All right, it's gone. But you guys, we do sell the unfinished pediment. So if you want to make your own, we sell those too. So don't forget to order those. I love you guys. Thanks for joining us. We will be um, on the channel with an edited video tomorrow. It's already half shot. So for sure it's going to go up. And it's going to be farmhouse. And you guys get to watch us finish the ship lap. Put up new um, light sconces yep. that we just got on the website. So you guys will be able to see those. They're different than the other ones, and they actually fit the space super well. And we're going to do a framing home tour of the farmhouse. So make sure you hit up that channel The upstairs tomorrow. is framed. We're so we got to get sheathing on it, but the walls are up. Zeb is most excited about it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to January Avengers for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for shopping, and thanks for joining us.